What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson Fury. Andy Ruiz, get this. Tyson Fury jokingly responds to Andy Ruiz's call out that he is coming for him, and this is what he said about a possible fight between him and Andy. He says, quote, I think his win over Joshua was very good, especially over two weeks' notice. I would tie one hand behind my back and use the other one to jab his nut right up. Pop, pop, pop. That would be the easiest fight ever. And let me counterpunch. Um, first of all, this was from 2019. Okay, this wasn't anything recent, so I don't want people to get confused with when he said this he said this on actually hot boxing with mike when he was on his podcast but i don't think andy ruiz has done anything significant to show that he's learned anything or showed you anything new to change this perception of how this fight will go down in tyson's mind you know i look at this fight with tyson fury versus andy ruiz the same way i looked at it then anyhow Okay, especially after uh, Andy lost to Joshua the second time. Okay, when he lost those belts back, I didn't see anything that Andy had for someone like Tyson Fury because, in fact, people were calling Anthony Joshua and his performance a poor man's Tyson Fury, just the same as people were calling, you know, Joshua's last performance a poor man's Klitschko's uh performance okay so i think with tyson fury saying that this will be the easiest fight ever i believe him i believe this fight would be easy i think andy ruiz has a lot on his mind anyway with you know being sued and accused and all this other stuff you know i don't think that he will be ready for it i think he'll give it his best based on what he's how and where he's at mentally and physically at the time if it goes down but i don't think he has anything to offer tyson fury as far as danger for one, he's too short. You know, he's six foot tall, maybe six one. He's Jermaine Franklin's height. Um, his punching power is decent, you know, but understand his punching power is only as good as where he lands the punch. See, Andy Ruiz, he's he's fast. He's that's what makes him different from being a fat man. Okay, he has fast hands, but he doesn't have the reach. He doesn't have the height. Okay, so the only way that he could get to where he needs to be is if Tyson Fury gives him something that he won't give him anyway, and that's leverage. He won't get that close to Tyson, to Andy Ruiz, for Andy Ruiz to throw those wide hooks and possibly land behind the ears or, you know, behind the head or wherever. He won't do that, and Andy Ruiz hasn't learned to cut the ring off ever. We've learned that in the Parker fight. We've learned that in the Joshua fight. And really, really we've seen a lot of that in the Luis Ortiz fight. The only difference is Luis Ortiz ain't running from you. He's too old to run from you, okay? He doesn't have time to, you know, bounce around like Ali and jab, jab, jab. He he tried that to make you think that he has some sense of legs left, but that's a lie because, you know, he needs to get you out of there because he knows he doesn't have that type of energy or time, okay? So, and that didn't work because he gave Andy exactly what he wanted. But as far as Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury, you know, I don't think that Andy can do anything for Tyson. So if anything, I see Tyson fighting this particular fight because it's the easiest one. You know, may I dare, you know, uh, argue with anybody, right? Or challenge anybody for what Tyson Fury said. And I think Tyson Fury's next fight will be Andy Ruiz. You guys tell me what you think about uh, Tyson Fury's response to fighting Andy Ruiz. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.